Most of us do not know how to handle anxiety and stresses that come with wazwas or OCD. Let me show you quickly a few strategies to overcome stress in daily life activities or acts of worship in OCD scrupulosity, wazwas, and I can guarantee if you implement them, you will be handling your activities easily without the dreadful fears or concerns. These strategies involve techniques and one of them is the mindfulness technique. Mindfulness techniques can be valuable for individuals, including Muslims, facing wazwas or OCD. These techniques can help manage anxiety, promote present moment awareness, and provide a sense of calm. Here are some mindfulness techniques tailored for Muslims facing OCD wazwas. Abu Said and Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported that the Prophet said, Never a believer is stricken with a discomfort, an illness, an anxiety, a grief or mental worry, or even the pricking of a thorn. But Allah will expiate his sins on account of his patience. Related by Al-Bakari and Muslim. 1. Focused breathing and tafakur to contemplate on the signs of Allah and remember your sins. Those who remember Allah, always and in prayers, standing, sitting, and lying down on their sides and think deeply about the creation of the heavens and the earth, saying, Our Lord, you have not created all this without purpose. Glory to you. Exalted are you above all that they associate with you as partners. Give us salvation from the torment of the fire. Al-Imran 3 verse 1 and 91. This is a book, the Quran, which we have sent down to you, full of blessings that they may ponder over its verses and that men of understanding may remember. Sad 38 verse 29. Part of reflecting and pondering is looking at what one has sent on ahead of deeds. The Quran teaches us to do that in the verse where it says, O oh, you who believe, fear Allah and keep your duty to him, and let every person look to what he has sent forth for tomorrow and fear Allah. Verily, Allah is all aware of what you do, al hashr 59 ain. Through Tafakur, one can cultivate a greater sense of gratitude, humility, and connection to the divine. This spiritual practice is highly valued in Islamic tradition and is seen as a means of seeking closeness to Allah and achieving inner peace. Practice mindful breathing, focusing on the inhalation and exhalation. Connect each breath to the remembrance of Allah. For example, silently say Bismillah with each inhale and Alhamdulillah with each exhale. Two, Dikr, remembrance. Engage in Dikr, the remembrance of Allah, through repetitive phrases or prayers. For example, repeat phrases such as Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, or La ilaha illallah during moments of anxiety. These phrases bring peace and clarity to your heart during times of distress. Remember that Allah is always with you guiding and protecting you through every challenge. Trust in his wisdom and his plan for you. Al-Qurtubi, may Allah have mercy on him, said, The Prophet, blessings and peace of Allah be upon him, used to say at times of distress, La ilaha illa Allah al-Azim al-Halim. There is no God worthy of worship except Allah, the most great, the most forbearing, and he would not mention his need. Al-Tabari said, the early generations used to call upon Allah with this supplication, and they called it Dua Al-Karb, the supplication of distress. The Dua is a praise, and no need to ask Allah about your distress, as He will lift it from you due to you praising Him. I will commence making a video explaining this to you, inshallah. Until then, implement this Dua in your daily routines together with other Duas we have learned together so far. 3. Mindful Prayer, Salah Mindful Prayer, Salah is Kushu. It is a deeply spiritual practice that allows you to connect with Allah and seek guidance, forgiveness, and blessings. It is a way to demonstrate submission and devotion to the Creator and serves as a reminder of the importance of gratitude, humility, and mindfulness in daily life. Through the physical and mental act of performing Salah, Muslims are able to cultivate a sense of inner peace, discipline, and spiritual growth. Certainly will the believers have succeeded. They who are during their prayer humbly submissive, Kashyun. al muminun 23 verses 1-2. Approach each prayer with a mindful presence. Focus on the words and actions, allowing them to be a source of grounding and connection with Allah. If intrusive thoughts arise during prayer, gently bring the focus back to the present moment and the meaning of the prayer. 4. Body Scan Meditation. Conduct a body scan meditation, paying attention to each part of the body. Releasing tension as you go. Combine this with reflections on gratitude for the functioning of each body part as a gift from Allah. 
As you start at the top of your head, feel the tension melting away as you focus on each body part. With each breath, express gratitude to Allah for the ability to see, hear, and think clearly. Move down to your neck and shoulders, releasing any tightness and thanking Allah for the ability to move and express emotions. As you continue down to your chest and abdomen, appreciate the gift of breath and the functioning of your internal organs. With each part of your body, express gratitude for the ability to move, feel, and experience life. 5. Observing Thoughts Practice observing intrusive thoughts without judgment. Imagine them as passing clouds in the sky of your mind. Remind yourself that thoughts do not define you and they are not reflective of your true intentions or beliefs. When intrusive thoughts arise, simply acknowledge them and let them pass without attaching any significance to them. Remember that your true self is separate from these passing thoughts and they hold no power over you. Just like clouds in the sky, they come and go, but they do not define the vast expanse of your mind. Six, five senses. Grounding. Engage your five senses intentionally to ground yourself in the present moment. Notice what you see, hear, smell, taste, and touch, acknowledging the sensory experiences as gifts from Allah. Feel the warmth of the sun on your skin. Listen to the sound of birds chirping. Savor the aroma of your favorite food and feel the texture of the ground beneath your feet. Embrace each sensation as a reminder of Allah's blessings in the present moment. Sevet, gratitude journaling, shukr. Maintain a gratitude journal where you daily write down things you are thankful for. Why, you may ask? Because waswas and OCD blocks our sight oftentimes and makes us focus obsessively all day long, solely on the stress and fears. Maintain a gratitude journal where you daily write down things you are thankful for. Make it a habit to reflect on the positive aspects of your life and acknowledge the good things that happen to you each day. This practice can help shift your focus from what you lack to what you have and cultivate a more positive and grateful mindset. Whether it's a small act of kindness from a stranger, a beautiful sunrise, or a supportive friend, taking the time to acknowledge and appreciate these moments can bring more joy and contentment into your life. 8. Intention Setting, Naya Before engaging in daily activities, set a clear intention, Niya, for the action. Do not give in to the waswas and intrusive thoughts that your Niya is not clear, or that your actions are not having an intention. These are all Sheaton's mind games. You must focus on making an intention once and that is all. The intention will not go away or expire unless you focus again and make a big effort to change it. One of the mind loops here is repetitively intend again and again as a way to find relief in repetition and assurance seeking from doubt. We aim to cut that off. There is no need and was not prescribed to repeat anything. There are no actions in this world without intentions. Even the drunken person, the inebriated individual, Astagfirullah, has intentions connected to his actions, whatever these would be. Haha! <laughs> Remind yourself that your actions are for the sake of Allah and not driven by anxiety or fear. 9. Breath Counting Focus on counting your breaths, inhaling and exhaling mindfully. Connect the breath count to positive affirmations, reinforcing a sense of self-compassion and trust in Allah's guidance. When facing anxiety or distress, breathe in deeply and slowly and exhale slowly as well. 10. Guided Imagery with Islamic Themes Guided imagery is a technique often used in therapy to dissolve stress, and it is a fairly common practice that can help treat many psychological issues. Some of those include stress, anxiety, depression, substance abuse, grief, post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. By using this technique essentially, we are transported to a safe place where our mind can be put at ease. Incorporate that with Islamic themes, such as envisioning a place of tranquility in nature mentioned in the Quran. When you have finished building up your scene, take a few moments to fully be in the moment. Try to think of a word or a sound that can help you bring you back to this mental escape in the future when you need it. Combine the imagery with deep, intentional breathing. When you are ready, slowly take yourself out of the scene and back into the present. Make sure to take note of how you feel right now. I hope this technique has reached all of you there who need it and helped you defeat the anxiety. I understand how overwhelming anxiety can be and I truly believe that this technique can make a difference in your life. Keep practicing and don't give up. You have the strength to overcome it. Thanks for watching.